what up y'all before we get into the video i just want to quickly shout out my instagram page y'all go shoot me a quick follow on there real quick and then have an asset store so you can buy all the assets that i use in these videos and help you with your designs and logos all right so let's hop straight into the video all right so first things first we're gonna add in our AI generated image. Yes, this is an AI image of a cowgirl. Not cowgirl, like this country singer uh, type image. It's like this vintage image. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and colorize. If y'all don't know how to get the color in it, I'll link the video where I'm explaining it in the iCard. It's a pretty simple process. So once we done coloring everything, then we're gonna add in our assets. So I added in the star. I got the inspiration for this design from a t-shirt. It's a clothing brand I saw in um, at Atlanta Streetwear Market uh, in a video. And I, I thought, okay, that's a, that's a nice shirt design. So I'm trying to recreate, not recreate, but just draw some inspiration from it, you feel me? And that's really how you create quote unquote original shirt designs. You just get some inspiration and you make it different not just using the inspired shirt design and just replacing their branding with yours you know what i'm saying so now i got all my colors laid out for the design i'm gonna add this like off printing effect by adding a drop shadow making it white and offsetting it then this was originally a hell star concept but in my mind i was like i do way too many of those so you can see later i'm gonna change the name you feel me uh, make it more of a quote unquote original name. So, what I'm gonna do is it's not a streetwear design if you don't add flames in it, you know what I'm saying? So, what I do is I get, get busy drawing some flames. What you wanna do is you wanna take the pen, uh, not the pen tool, you wanna take the brush tool and you just wanna freehand, free flow some flames. That's usually what I do with my designs. I just freehand them, free form. If I have to, I'll take them and illustrate and fix it up, but it's pretty much what I do. Uh, I change the color and then I add that same like off print effect to make it look more vintage. It just goes with the concept, like, like the imagery is like very, very vintage and classic. All right, so I renamed it to Riot Records. It's a more original name, and I keep saying original in quotations because we are obviously drawing inspiration from Hellstar, but we're making it the slightest bit different. You know what I'm saying? So then I go in now, and now I'm trying to create the back of the shirt. Just something, um, just like a cool design, you know what I'm saying? Just to go on the back of the shirt. I came up with this uh, phrase uh, saying vintage meets volume. So basically like brands like Hellstar and Vertebrae and these like brands nowadays, they use taglines to build like their brand identity and relatability. So other people will like, you know what I'm saying? What it says on a shirt and they're gonna buy it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so what I'm gonna do is and I'm gonna go and add this like splash effect, the back splash effect. And then I'm gonna go and like bulge out the uh the phrase so it looks more um I don't know, like animated and dynamic. And then I'm gonna draw in this flame cross. You can hardly see it, but you can see I'm using the pen tool and the symmetry tool, and I freehand this like flame looking cross, filled it in with black. And then use the layer styles to make it at that same orange from the front of the shirt. And then I use a series of strokes to get that offset path look. And then of course, we gotta add that texture to make it vintage, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna add a cracked plastic saw texture. And y'all see me use the texture a lot, but this is one of my favorite textures, I'm not gonna lie. So we're gonna layer another texture on top. We're gonna mess with the threshold a little bit. 
and that looks really good to me i'm not gonna hold you this is the final product let me know what y'all think and this is the final set i decided to add some shorts just to like complete the the look of the set and yeah that's pretty much all i got for y'all i've been getting a lot of comments saying yo bro you need to slow down yo bro can you teach me how to do this can you do this effect can you do videos on this so the way i'm gonna do it is i'm gonna start a patreon soon so y'all look out for that what i'm gonna do as I'm gonna attach all the project files of everything I do in these videos. I'm gonna do more in depth tutorials and I'm gonna do like polls. So, y'all can let me know what y'all wanna see. So, with that being said, that's all I got for y'all, and we out. Peace.